The Farewell is a Chinese movie uh, written and directed by Lulu Wang. I think everyone, including me, was probably more interested in this film for its reputation of having 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, it still does have 100% as of this review. Most films that usually start out at 100% usually get knocked down by one negative review, like Get Out or Toy Story 4. And uh, The Farewell is a movie that, you know, wasn't on, honestly, it wasn't on my radar until I found out about the, the score. But this movie might be one of the rare ones that deserves that score. This film is about Billy. She is an independent American Chinese woman waiting to get a uh, sort of fellowship for a writing program in New York City. And um, we find out that all the way across in China, her, uh, her Nai Nai is, um, uh, actually has cancer. However, Nai Nai's sister doesn't tell her. And there's a custom in China where you basically don't tell your older relatives that they're sick until they're just about to like go to their deathbed. The reason why is to sort of save them the emotional turmoil of um, facing that morality, uh, mortality for the last, like, Nai Nai only has three months to live, basically. So Billy's already heartbroken about this, but the family is going to throw a sort of fake wedding as an excuse for everyone to go to China to celebrate uh, Billy's cousin's wedding with a Japanese woman. However, they're all going to be actually there to say goodbye to Nai Nai. So... Billy ends up going there later without telling everyone. However, she's the most probably the most close with uh, Nai Nai, so it absolutely breaks her heart to go. And uh, the rest of the film is basically organizing the uh, wedding and sort of dealing with the emotional burden of not telling um, the, this uh, matriarch of the family that she's dying. And uh, the movie has a very distinct type of style. I've never seen a Lulu Wang film. This might actually even be her debut. But the movie has really great composition, I noticed. Uh, also, usage of music. The music is very classical. It's very uh, sad and melancholic. However, the movie does a very rare thing of balancing that, that mood of melancholy and sadness with humor. Uh, this movie is not a bust-your-gut comedy, but it has some amazing, hilarious set pieces, such as awkward glances at other people or just uh, getting into arguments. Um, Nine Nine thinks that everyone's jet lagged, but you know they're all actually like super sad that she's you know going to be leaving them soon. However, she doesn't realize this, and you know Nine Nine's the same she's always been. So she's you know commenting on people's weight and things like that, or when are you going to get married? And she's really happy, but everyone else isn't. And the movie also manages to bring in a lot of ethical questions because apparently this is something that's done a lot in China. And uh, it's, it's a nice little contrast of ideologies between the East and the West. Uh, over in America, you'd have to tell your uh, grandmother or grandparent that they're dying of cancer and then they would have to, you know, get their affairs in order and probably move to the hospital and spend their last days doing chemo or trying to just uh, doing nothing. However, in China, you know, they have a different set of uh, emotional rules, I guess. They, they don't want to tell... The, they're elderly because that way they can spend the last few months you know, surrounded by ha family and then they'll be told right before they die. So this movie also manages to have a couple of scenes where they bring up you know, how messed up that is from a different perspective because you know, Billy's been living in uh, America for the last many years and she doesn't you know, necessarily agree with the family's tactics. Also the film doesn't waste any time or any space I noticed. The film makes sure every single scene is used, but also every single character. Billy is the main character, as, as so say, and then Nai Nai takes a big portion of the film. However, each of the family members get their own sort of, I don't want to say juicy role, but I'm just saying that like each of them gets their due. Uh, the mother has a really great sequence in hotel room. Same with the father. Uh, Billy's uncle also gets really good. So it's a really great movie for the cast. And you get to see more than just Billy and the Nai Nai. You get to see a little bit of everyone and how they're reacting and how you know this is affecting them. So it's a really well-balanced movie that manages to split the perspective a little bit throughout the different family members. Uh, the movie is just a really excellent masterclass of drama. It manages to completely mix the two without you know, be, trying to be too funny or being too depressing. If I had to pick a flaw for The Farewell, I'd be reaching, but I, I guess I would say that 
they try to go for like a slow-mo Wes Anderson shot at the end and it just kind of feels out of the moment right when they do it also uh, the movie also does like a sort of um, music video like moment with a song that just doesn't really seem to fit it just seems a little forced but that's a small nitpick for a, you know a, a really good film like this uh, the movie also showcases that uh, Aquafina, I don't know her real name, but uh, she can do drama film. She's, she doesn't go try to do the whole jokey, jokester thing that she's known for other films like uh, Crazy Rich Asians or Ocean's 8. She goes for straight up drama this time and she can do it. So if um, she can carve a niche for herself and continue the uh, excellent choices of films, uh, she's got a career ahead of her. Uh, same goes for the actress who plays uh, Nai Nai. She's really good too, and so is the rest of the cast. So The Farewell is a excellent blend of comedy, drama, a little bit of pathos, and it's definitely a film worthy of 100% on Rotten Tomatoes, even if I'm not going to give it a perfect score. So I give uh, The Farewell a 9 out of 10.